Hello friends. Today we're continuing with our 1001 tarot spreads. This is another variation of the week ahead spread. This time it is using seven cards, one for each day of the week. Like previous variations of the spread that used a smaller number of cards, each card corresponds to a time period. And additionally, what kind of thing would be beneficial to focus on on that day of the week? This week I'm using the Supernatural Tarot for these demonstrations, and we're going to get right into it. For this reading, we're going to be using the entire tarot deck, and while it's recommended to do this on a Saturday night, because the first card corresponds to Sunday, as with most things, you can modify it. So I would say whatever day you're using this on, it's the next seven days in front of you. I'm going to follow the recommendation of saying that it's going to be Sunday through Saturday, even though I'm going to be posting this on a Monday. Card number one corresponds to Sunday, and it's what should be prepared for the rest of the week. Card number two is Monday. What things should you watch out for this week? Card number three, what strengths will you need to focus on, which is Tuesday. Card four is Wednesday and asks us to verify some information. Double check your figures. Five is Thursday. And what opportunity will you have to reveal your expertise? Six is Friday. Who will I need to negotiate or how will I need to handle negotiations? Seven is Saturday and it's how can I consolidate what I have gained this week or minimize losses? So we're going to shuffle up and see what we get. As always, this is just a demonstration. And it is what I how I would interpret this if I were to reveal these cards for a client in a reading. Okay. So we have card one, two, three. Interesting. Thus far we've got all people and all upright. Five, six, and seven. Okay. So first thoughts before even reading any of the cards. We've got three cards from the Suit of Blades. We've got two cups, one bones. In this deck, bones corresponds to wands. And we have one major arcana. One of the other things about this deck is many of the cards, even those that are not court cards or major arcana, are attached to a character from the TV show. So card number one, which corresponds to Sunday, or what needs to be done to prepare, is the Magician. So the character who they chose to represent the Magician is Chuck. Throughout the TV show, Chuck is first revealed to just be a writer who happens to write prophetically. Anything he writes in his books comes true. It's later revealed that he is actually God himself, at least in this story. What needs to be put in order is to organize your thoughts for the week. You have the creative potential to create the outcome you desire, but you have to organize it first. Card number two for Monday, what do you need to watch out for this week? We have the Seven of Blades. The Seven of Blades in this deck is represented by the character of Ruby. Ruby is a demon who manipulates the Winchesters to her own ends. She is cunning and she is manipulative. What you should be watching out for is someone who will lie and cheat to get what they want. Card number three corresponds to Tuesday. And what strengths should you put forward this week? This is the Five of Blades, who is represented by the demon Megmasters. She is another problematic character. As is typical of the Five of Blades, it is a card of conflict. So what strength 
do you need to bring forward into this conflict? Your sense of self and just cut through the noise. Find the specific things that need focused on as referencing back to card one, what was prepared for, and focus on your plan. Don't allow other people to distract you with their lesser conflicts. Card number four, which corresponds to Wednesday, is check your facts. What needs to be verified? In this case, we have the Page of Bones, who is represented by the character Claire Novak. She is a young hunter who is inexperienced, but has the desire to do good. Double check on the younger people who interact with your business. Keep an eye on them. Make sure that their desire to be known and to be successful doesn't get in the way of their success. Card five is the Four of Blades. It corresponds to Thursday and the oppor what opportunity you will have to show your expertise this week. The Four of Blades is about taking appropriate breaks. One aspect of expertise is knowing your limits and knowing when you need to rest. Those who see that as a weakness, their opinions aren't that important because they're not the people who will actually lead you to greater success. The people who value your understanding of yourself and your understanding of your limits who appreciate your honesty in that matter. Those are the people to care about. Card number six corresponds to Friday, and it's dealing with other people's emotions and possibly negotiations. We have the Three of Cups reversed. The Three of Cups is about deep friendships. In its reversed state, it's that there is something wrong in what should be a, a close relationship. There is some sort of deception going on, some sort of unease in a close personal relationship. Look for that, and the way to overcome it is clear communication. Card number seven corresponds to Saturday. It is the wrap-up card. It's how can we consolidate what we have accomplished this week and minimizing losses. It's being represented by the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is a card about choices that you have multiple opportunities in front of you. In reference to the question, it is, you can focus on the negative or you can focus on the positive. Whichever you choose to focus on will have the larger impact going into the next week. That brings us to the end of this demonstration of the seven days spread. As a reminder, there are now a bunch of links in the description for my Discord, my personal website, and the Buy Me A Coffee page, so check those out. And until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye!